I hope you're doing awesome. So the question we are seeing today is inverted R class pattern, right? So we have given this figure. Suppose n is given to us equals to seven. So we'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, three. Just bear with me, it's quite a long pattern. One, two, three, four, six, seven. So this is the pattern we need to print. Here it's actually looking like an hourglass where all the sand is deposited at the upper part and the, the bottom part here is empty, right? So we need to print this. But before printing that, uh, what will be the approach we will be following is, firstly, we'll print a pattern like this here. Because uh, I think by the previous question, you know how to print this one, right? It is easy. Then after that, we'll put a condition which will eventually remove these uh, spaces and replace them with spaces, right? At these spaces, it will remove the stars. Now, let's see how do we actually do that. Firstly, let's take the input. Print n is equals to c n dot extent. Right, we have our input ready now. For this is the outer loop. This is for the rows. For int i is equals to zero. I is less than n. I plus plus. Let's see. Now we'll initiate two variables. Um, let's initiate them here. Int nst. That will actually determining that that will be actually determining the number of stars. So let's see. Eventually. At first, my number of stars is equals to n itself, that n is equals to 7. I have 7 stars in the first row, right? As I move to the next row, my stars decrease by 1. Actually, no, they decrease by 2. And my space is increased by 1, right? After the next row, my space is increased by 2 and number of stars is decreased by 2. After that, my space has again increased by one and my number of stars has decreased by two, right? So we follow a pattern here that number of stars get decremented by two and number of spaces, sorry, it should be n, nsp gets incremented by one, right? So this is the pattern we are following. Also, what do we print first? First, we print spaces. Here it was zero number of spaces. Here it is one. So first we print spaces then we print stars and then we print the next line. So this is the pattern we are going to follow. So uh, the number of stars initially is equal to n and number of spaces initially is equal to zero. All right. Now, let's see for and i is equals to or not i and spaces is equals to zero. Spaces is less than number of spaces and spaces plus plus the system dot out dot print we are printing tabs here i know you are familiar with tabs as of now because tabs is just a very number of spaces it becomes uh, dependent on the system configuration so uh, usually it's four spaces together now spaces have been printed now another loop for stars, right? Or and st is equals to zero. St is less than number of stars and stars plus plus system dot out dot print. We print star and slash t a space after the star, right? Now. After we have done printing for one row, right? One, a particular row number of stars and number of spaces have been printed. We move to the next line, system dot out dot. And before moving out of the loop, we need to set our NST and NSP accordingly. That is our NST gets increased by one and NST gets decreased by two, but this doesn't ha happen always, right? Because if you see the pattern, 
for 0 to n by 2, it's actually following this pattern here. But after that, if you see it, the pattern reverses down, right? Because the number of spaces are now decrementing by one and number of space, uh, number of stars are actually getting increased by two, right? So after n by two, what happens is NST plus equals to two and NSP minus minus. Right. Let's see. So we put an if condition around it. Okay, just give me a second. So if i is less than n by 2, we do this. Else, okay, else we reverse the condition that is nsp gets decremented by 1 and ns p gets incremented by two, right so let's see if it prints the desired pattern it won't be printing the correct answer because we need to remove those bottom triangle stars but let's see if it works okay so It's taking a little time. I'll just wait for it to run. I hope we have not uh, an infinite loop here. So yeah, it's wrong answer, but the pattern is being printed. Now all we need to do is remove these stars here, right? We remove this star and this star and this star. Now let's see how we actually do that. So if I clear out this pattern a little, just to see yeah this much should work i hope yeah so here these are the position that are needed to be emptied right so we'll put a condition that we only print star only if our i is in the upper triangle that is i is uh, less than or equal no less than n by 2 and only if in the lower triangle it's either at the zeroth position, the st variable is either at the zeroth variable, right? Or we are at the bottom most line. So st is at the zeroth position or st is at the last position or we are, we are at the bottom most line. So these are the three conditions we need to put. Let's write them. So we only print star if just a second. Let me quote it full screen, right? If i is less than n by 2 or st is equal equal to 0 or st is equal equal to number of stars minus 1 that is at the last position or i is equal equal to n minus 1. So any of these four condition is met, we'll be printing a star here. And else, we'll be printing system dot out, just to say, dot print space, right? That is slash t. And hopefully this should work now. So it's getting accepted. Let's try to submit it. So it's taking a little too much time today. So we're facing a lag here. Yeah, so it's correct answer. So if you like the explanation, kindly hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.